All right, Eaton Buenos Dias, mis amigos. So yesterday I shared a little bit of this conversation I had with Caco 404, and I, you know I asked him a simple question, and he finally gets around to answering it. And I think part of the problem is that you know he he puts so much on the table, and I try to you know uh, say this and that, and then ask him what exactly are you gonna do to save yourself. And, you know, the question gets overlooked because of what I said in response to what he said. And so it, it really comes down to what exactly are you going to do to save yourself? And CAC 0404 says, obeying the gospel. What are you going to do to save yourself? And, you know, when I ask him, what exactly are you going to do to save yourself? That was meant to be a trick question with an obvious answer. I can't save myself. But he instead answers it as if he can save himself. And so he asked me the same question. And I give him a straight answer. I can't save myself. The whole reason why I need a savior is because I know I can't save myself and it's remarkable it's incredible to see people thinking oh I'm a good person I can save myself and it's these types of people that are lost all right and it's sad and I don't know I don't think there's anything we can do for a person like this because they have the law of Moses already and the law of Moses shows us that we're not perfect and that we can't save ourselves the law of Moses is there to bring us to faith in Christ all right and there's no way you can say oh I'm a good person after knowing reading the law of Moses you're not a good person that's why that's why you need a savior right well uh, I you know just plainly say I can't save myself and Oh, yes, you can. You can save yourself. You can be like me. And I mean, if I could save myself, then Jesus did everything he did in vain. There's no point in Jesus. Whether Jesus lived or died, it doesn't matter. Right? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what he says. Just be a good person. And that's all he's saying. You, I could read this whole comment for you. Faith is the beginning point of acceptable service to God. That's the beginning point. And then you got to do good works. You got to do. You got to prophesy in the name of Jesus. And then you got to, you know, in the name of Jesus, cast out devils, right? And then you know, to be saved, the final thing that you have to do is you. In the name of Jesus, you have to do many wonderful works, right? <laughs> That's the same thing, man. All this blah, 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 blah stuff. At baptism, a person contacts the blood of Jesus that washes his sins away. All right, so, I, you know, I don't want to get into this too much, but it's it, pretty apparent to me. It seems to me anyways that he thinks baptism is a water baptism and uh, you know water baptism does not save anybody the New Testament plan of salvation is a simple plan but uh, salvation can be obtained in no other way and so he gives these steps final step there's a one step and a two step and a, you know and then you you know, shake the left foot and then you shake the right foot and then you jump up and down, you know, and you turn about. That's what it's all about. 
you know, I don't know what in the world this is. Really? So, um, you know, I'm going to tell you that <laughs> this is stupid. And sometimes it's hard for me to look at these comments and be nice. Yeah. Okay, so what, what do I got to do to be saved? I, I could read this a hundred times and still not understand it. Whereas, I could go to the Bible. Oh, heck. You know what? That question is asked. Acts 16, verse 30. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Boy, I hope... I hope the answer to this isn't anything like this. Doggone it, because I can't figure it out. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith and then you gotta repent. Is that what he says? So, okay, you have faith and then repent. And, you know, you, get, you got faith in Jesus and then you repent, which means turn away from your faith in Jesus. And then you shake your left foot and then you shake your right foot. You know, I, come on man what if I do this out of order or something what if I get it wrong now and then the other thing is well what if I do this and I'm saved and then I fall and I'm not saved how do I get resaved I gotta do this again jeez so I gotta go through this process of having faith and they're repenting and then sticking my left foot out and then sticking my right foot out and then getting baptized I mean come on man if you could lose your salvation you can't save yourself by your own words sirs what must I do to be saved and they said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved it's simple <laughs> just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved Oops. And you know, I, I like to go to, to John 3 because I'm telling you, this chapter right here had the biggest impact on me in my life. Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of of God. Now you know being born of water is to be born from your mother's womb. To be born of the Spirit is to be born from above. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. Man, wow. Wow. So when you're born of the flesh, you have a limited time to live. But when you're born of the spirit, you have an unlimited time to live. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. And I love verse 8, by the way, but I'm going to go to verse 16, or let's go to 15. Yeah. You know, in verse uh, 16 is uh, probably the most popular verse in the world, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever has faith repents of their faith and then shakes their left foot. No, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have ever lasting life right now you have eternal life right now when you are born of the spirit you have an unlimited amount of time to live eternal life all right and that's by the grace of God and of course Jesus is God Almighty. Okay. 
Uh, it's, it's real simple, man. It's real simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Just like God gave Moses and his people a, an escape from the wickedness of Egypt, so also has God given us an escape from the wickedness of this world. All you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Savior, 